big champagne there, the must. I feel like I would have just come to her fast and I would have spoken to her if I knew she was going to go. I still have some regrets. Maybe she wrote letters to the people she thought had her back in the house. She, but I had her back. Did she know that? I don't think so. Probably because I wasn't even fighting directly like the way she's always like fighting. People always see it. So I probably I didn't show her. In my previous video, I told you all about what had transpired between CC and Ilibai last night. There was an almost heated altercation between those two people and um, Adekunle and Venita were almost going to insert themselves in that situation. I talked about all of that on my previous video, so please make sure you check out that video after watching this one. As a matter of fact, you need to even watch this one before that one for more clarity, all right? And speaking about clarity, um, a lot of people were wondering why Ilibaye even bothered to plant kisses on Doyin's picture frame. Yes, if you did not watch Ilibaye's diary session that happened yesterday, trust me, you might be asking the same questions, all right? So on this video, we're gonna talk about Ilibaye's Diary session, yes, which was quite emotional <laughs> because this girl had cried a lot. She had cried a lot and um, she had forgotten her emotions, you know, expressed her feelings about how she felt towards doing, about how she felt towards doing his eviction on Sunday, about how she felt, you know, towards um, the knowledge of doing having new friends in the house. And guys, I, I watched that diary session and <laughs> oh god at some point i kind of zoomed out because i was just i was really turned off i was really turned off and guys you see we've talked about the hypocrisy of this housemate the entire season and eleva's diary session was riddled with some of that hypocrisy all right so on this video i'm going to go ahead and spill okay i will tell you the things that she said and then i will share my personal opinion as usual and of course i would love to hear from you as well so please make sure you share in the comment section below all right and um this is also a quick reminder to all of you that tonight by 7 pm wat we're going to be converging here for our live conversation guys Please make it a date with us. There is a lot to talk about and you do not want to miss out. I look forward to seeing all of you. Okay. And special greetings to everybody. You are all welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is frankly speaking with Gloria Elijah and I am the girl with the tea. Mm, I've actually finished my tea this time. Oh, I actually have a bit left. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm the girl with the tea. Um, for those of you that are newly subscribed, Thank you so much for choosing to join the community. For those of you that are still undecided, can you just make up your mind already? <laughs> Please subscribe, all right? Do exactly what you see on here, all right? Turn on post notifications as well so that you'll be able to receive a lot of my videos whenever I upload a new one. Please like this video. Feel free to share. Let's proceed into the details of this conversation. So some of the housemates had their diary session yesterday and one of those early questions Biggie had asked them was um, for them to share their feelings, their thoughts about the eviction show and also about the housemates that were evicted. And Ile Baye decided to give us a show. Yeah. Now I call it a show because it makes me wonder why it is only in the diary room that Ilebaye gets to express what she calls her true feelings towards doing. I will never understand. And guys, I get it. I understand that people are different and people have their different unique ways of um, showing loyalty, of showing support, of being there for people, of having people's back. I understand. But in a place like Big Brother's house, how is it possible that all of those things, you know, loyalty, um, friendship, love, care, likeness, how is it possible that you're going to, you know, store all of that in your heart and expect the next person to know that that is how you feel towards them without even trying at least to express it, to show it, to act it out? Because there's a difference between feeling something and expressing that feeling or even purgating that feeling or even putting those, those feelings into action so that people will know that that is how you truly feel. Because when it comes to Ilebaye, 
all we hear is in the diary room oh she talked about how she likes doing blah blah blah, blah she's doing is still her friend but inside the house we see an entirely different person that does not give an actual fuck yes we see someone that is living her best life we see someone that is happy excited you know over the moon that oh yes finally she's been you know accepted by the community of elders in the house and so she does not have to carry doing as a baggage all through the entire season we see someone that does not give an actual fuck when she's actually betraying her friend and this is not trying to portray doing as a saint no one thing that I personally have always had issues with doing is how she handles you know her situation with Eli by when they would have their friendship issues yes I've always had issues with that and I was one of the happiest pressings alive when they finally went their separate ways because I felt like nah the toxicity was just too much and they needed to exist apart yes now let me not deviate too much anymore. Now, no. back to Ilibai's diary session, Biggie had asked that same question. And as I said, she started to give us a show. She started talking about how she felt really disappointed that Doin did not leave her a letter. Hmm. I still have some regrets, but the letter she wrote to everybody, like the few people who are annoyed her, just showed that she doesn't want me to be her friend again. She said she was actually surprised. She was shocked that Doing got evicted. She did not see it coming, that she actually has regrets, but she was quite upset and disappointed that Doing had written letters to people, that Cece and Alex, but she did not get any letter. That now she feels so alone. Now she feels like the only person that really cared about her has been evicted from the house and she has nothing really to really hold on to to give her assurance that she is safe. Thank God, am I hearing this? Guys, pardon me, because even repeating the things the has said, it's giving me a brain freeze right now because I did not hear her say that, oh my God, I actually wish that I had actually had a conversation with her before she got evicted. Oh my God. Because what she was saying was, oh, if I knew that she was going to get evicted, I would have had a conversation with her. But instead, she was saying that she, Doing should have left her a letter to make her feel safe. Guys, it was all about Ilebae. And then she started crying, shedding tears, talking about... I know we weren't even talking before she left, but like, I felt like I still had somebody in the house that probably liked me. And even if we're not even talking, we still got each other's back. Oh, that, yeah. That those people self, they are not even true friends. Eh, she knows that she cared about doing, she had doings back. And I loved Big Brother. Big Brother was in his element yesterday. Big Brother was asking her, did you show her that you truly had her back? She's like, hey, Big Brother, I had her back in my mind. Eh, I, I used to try to defend her from time to time. In I say, hey, anybody, which time to time did you try to defend doing in conversations? When, how, when then? How? How many times? How? 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 Somebody tell me. Oh my God. Somebody please enlighten me. This girl. Guys. And then she was talking about eh, that she wrote letters to people who had actually offended her. Blah, blah, blah. I think her brother was like, don't you think she actually wrote letters to people that she felt had her back? That's why she was saying that, oh, eh, I actually had her back in, in Ilebae's mind. Guys, is doing a mind reader. <laughs> oh God. For her, she said that the fact that Doing wrote those letters to those people and she did not get any letter, then it just goes to tell her that Doing does not want their friendship anymore outside. <sighs> if entitlement was a person, if selfishness was a person, Ilibai would be it all through and through. Because guys, Nah, oh God, nah, nah. You see, on two occasions on Twitter, I've actually tweeted um, that <laughs> Ilibai definitely has a lot of unlearning and relearning to do. Guys, a lot of unlearning. I mean, 
when labor gets out of the house, yeah, they literally need to put her into the laundry machine. They, they need to wash her, wash her properly, and bring her out, dry her clean, so that she comes out sparkling clean. In fact, what that means in reverse is that she needs, she needs a lot of, I don't know, <sighs> guys, Elibar just has a lot of learning to do because a concept of friendship, a concept of loyalty, in fact, she doesn't even have any sense of loyalty, but that concept, some concept of friendship is very, very flawed. Elibai has no sense of loyalty. And you see this thing we're talking about loyalty. Alex spent time last night to rant and complain to Cross about how Elibai had been had been betraying her, had been lying to her, had been deceiving her, had been doing a lot of crazy things to her, you know, and because she was blinded by, oh, wanting to have a Elibai's back, she was not seeing all of those things until she started putting two and two together and until Elibai started doing it to her face, that she realized that, oh my God, this girl has literally been, you know, just misusing her in that house. And guys, for Alex's part, oh, I'm gonna be frank with all of you, yeah, I was laughing when she was telling Cross. Because for me, I've analyzed that situation before. I said, no, Alex, you're no saint. You are fully aware of all this girl has been doing. You're fully aware of the emotional blackmail. You're fully aware of all of that manipulation that she dishes out to everybody in this house. But you chose to turn a blind eye to it, which is Alex's typical nature. People that she cares to want to, you know, hold as a friend, she turns a blind eye to their excesses. Same thing she did with Ike, same thing she did with Shay. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, eh, and she did not know. I'm like, Alex, you knew. You're trying to use Elevaye to polish your anti-bullying activist brand. Forgetting that this is a live show. People watch, people see, and people can tell. When they, when they smell, when they smell a fox, when they smell, when they smell fakeness, when they smell hypocrisy. And Alex, you've been dishing that. You've been serving <laughs> and we've been seeing. You know, so all of our ranting and naggings about the labor last night, guys, I was just laughing, but she was actually saying the truth because everything, all the scenarios that she painted out, guys, they were actually true. The labor had been poking her silently, Libra had been doing X, Y, Z. And guys, it's nothing new because I've done a video about it before. But coming from Alex, frankly speaking, I, I did not even have any sentiment towards it. I was just laughing. I'm like, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> when she was doing it to other people, you felt like it was cool. You felt like it was right. Now she's doing it to you and now you're complaining. Take it, swallow it. You just needed to have a taste of your own medicine. <laughs> Take it, you know? So with regards to Elibai's diary session, frankly speaking, guys, for me, it's not just about crying all the time when you have the opportunity to speak about your friend. It's not about crying. It's not about talking about, oh, I have regrets. It's about owning up to your shit. Elibai is not a child. She's 22, I guess. She's not a child. So let's quote that crap about, oh, she, she's so naive. She's not. Elibaye was not loyal to doing. Elibaye threw doing under the bus on several occasions. Elibaye manipulated doing. Elibaye played doing with her own game. And guys, am I mad at it? Absolutely not. Because it is a game at the end of the day. And the labor strategy all along has been to play emotional manipulation, emotional blackmail, and it worked for her. It worked perfectly for her. Elibaye played a fantastic game. It's only sad that Doyin put herself in that situation and she probably felt like she could play a game in that friendship and then she ended up getting played. So it's about the best player. It's about who plays the player. So don't hate the player, hate the game. The game requires these housemates to be thinking five steps ahead. And Lebaye thought about her game five steps ahead and she was five steps ahead of the rest of the house. And she was able to play all of them. So is it her fault? Nope, it is the fault of the game. <laughs> you cannot blame Ilebae. But one thing I would not condone is Ilebae going into the diary room and trying to make it seem like, oh, Doin did her wrong by not writing her a letter. Guys, listening to Ilebae say that yesterday, I'm just like, girl, just get your, just get your selfish ass out of that diary room because it was just very annoying, very annoying. And for me, she had no right to be demanding a letter. And talking about, oh, she needed a letter to make her feel protected. I'm like, what about doing? Doesn't doing deserve to feel protected as well? 
Instead of her to say that, oh, uh, she wish she could have had a conversation with doing or maybe giving doing something to um, assure her that, listen, I, I still love you as my friend. We're going to talk outside the house. She's getting upset. Guys, I beg her. I'm tired. I'm tired of all this nonsense, childish behavior. But I would love to hear from all of you. Please go ahead, share your thoughts about it in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.